So Luxlung 8 was a go global phase 3 randomized trial uh, that randomized patients who had squamous cell histology, non-small cell lung cancer, who had previously been treated with a platinum-based doublet chemotherapy and had progression of their disease. And these patients were randomized to either a fatinib, which was the experimental arm, or erlotinib, which is an approved drug for these patients. The drugs were used at the standard dose of 40 milligrams a day for a fatinib and a lot in about 150 milligrams a day. The primary endpoint of this study was to assess progression-free survival uh, and the key secondary endpoint, which was what was presented at ASCO today, was to look at overall survival. The primary endpoint of progression-free survival was presented at last year's ESMO by Dr. Glenwood Goss and that showed that there was a 19% reduction uh, in uh, improvement rather in progression-free survival in patients who received a fatinib over a lotinib. And the study did meet its primary endpoint. The medians were 1.9 months with a lotinib and 2.7 months in with a fatinib. What Dr. Jan Charles Soria uh, presented today was the overall survival data. Now what this study showed was that in these patients, afatinib did improve overall survival uh, statistically significantly uh, more than the patients who were enrolled on erlotinib with a hazard ratio of 0.81 that is suggesting that there was a 19% reduction in risk of death in patients who receive afatinib as compared to patients who received erlotinib. And what is interesting about these results is that the improvement in survival was very consistent with what was seen uh, with improvement in progression-free survival. In addition, what the study showed uh, was that the other key endpoints of benefit, such as response rate, disease control rate, were also better in patients who received a fatinib as compared to patients who received a lotinib.